Hello Vinyl Community! So, two years ago I have made a two-part video about OU Kai Conjugate, a band I follow for many many years, basically since I think the very early 90s when I discovered them. And I had tried to cover all of their releases up to that point, at least as far as they were available to me. But since then, two years have passed and uh, the band has been actually rather productive in uh, those years and uh, so I thought let's do a, a uh, continuation, a third video about Oyukai Conjugate and about uh, the stuff that came out since then. So let's get on with it. In March 2018 this 10-inch came out titled Untitled and uh, this is a look back at the very early days. Um, this is material that has been recorded uh, in 1983 under rather undergroundy circumstances. Uh, the sleeve says uh, it was recorded on a Tascam Porta studio and mastered onto TDK cassette and his is entirely intentional. Now this came in an edition of 300 on a beautiful red vinyl. Um, now this has been already released once on vinyl as part of the Ambiguism box as a 7 inch. Um, the only difference uh, compared with uh, the 10 inch now is that here on the 10 inch you have one additional track called uh, Clattering Song and that was never released before. So uh, that's the one bonus track you get here. Now in the October 2018 there was another re-release on the way and that's the famous Scene in Mirage album. Now if you have watched my uh, previous videos on Oyukai Conjugate then you know that I was a little bit ranting about how uh, People are demanding horrendous uh, amounts of money for the original releases on Discogs and uh, that uh, I felt that it's a bit outlandish. So when this came out I was pretty happy but because now I could just buy it and be done with it and <laughs> didn't feel provoked by those people anymore. Um, that being said, well also this is already sold out I think so this is actually already becoming a little bit rare and a little bit expensive to get. Um, now uh, interestingly this album has also been released as part of the Ambiguism box back in the day. This is the edition I'm talking about. It's interesting to compare the tracks because both albums have something in common. They both have additional tracks on it that were not on the original release from 1984. But interestingly, each edition has different songs added to it. So uh, putting, all, put it, putting all together with all the additions on both records, uh, you kind of get a almost a kind of a double album out of it. So um, that's kind of cool. And um, I've always liked the cover design, it's very simple, but at the same time it uh, expresses a certain atmosphere that is quite fitting for this kind of music. And um, maybe this is just my impression, but I always felt like this is a kind of a transitional album of sorts, because um, it always felt to me that the tracks on the A side are kind of a looking back at what the band had done sound-wise up until then, while the B-side is much stronger representative of the music to come in the future. But maybe this is just my personal illusion. So uh, that's Scene in Mirage, finally re-released and finally in my possession. Now uh, in April 1st April 1st of 2019 saw um, the release of this 12-inch. 
uh, titled Insect Talk. Now, Insect Talk is the opening track of the Equator album from the 90s. Now, this came out in an edition of 350 records, uh, where the sleeves were divided into four colors, uh, green, blue, silver and gold, and I have chosen the green color. Uh, I like that one most. And um, it comes with this uh, kind of quirky graphical sleeve. Uh, I think uh, that Andrew drew this and uh, it's just a whole army of ants marching in one direction. Um, in the Insect Talk record, it's like a, it's more like an EP as far as the length goes. Um, and it basically uh, contains basically the original version of the song uh, and uh, four remixes. Now, if you know Oyukai Conjugate, then you know that a remix uh, in this world means that uh, the track itself becomes almost unrecognizable. Uh, this is uh, this became very obvious uh, when they already did this once uh, with, uh, with the Sun Chemical album which had a, a whole range of remixes of one track but uh, as it turned out all these tracks been, have been so different and so heavily adapted that uh, it was basically like a completely new album. You have a very similar situation here. I mean, these remixes are all very versatile and uh, quite interesting so I was very happy about this record here. This is really fun to listen and uh, yeah a wonderful uh, release from 2019. But that's not all. Um, yeah, in, 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 in autumn 2019, suddenly uh, this record came out called Ocean Youth Club, um, The Divided Self. Now, Ocean Youth Club is just a kind of a tongue-in-a-cheek moniker uh, with the same initials as Oyukai Conjugate. So this is obviously a... a Andrew and Roger in a different kind of project. But the premise, um, as it was presented, the premise of this album is basically what if Oyukai Conjugate had chosen the electronic route instead of the ambient tribal route. So what you get here is a rather, well, slightly darker ambient album that is that relies much more much more heavily on electronics and less on the natural instruments. So if the classic Oyukai conjugate material made you yearn for distant shores and uh, foreign tribal regions, then this music is all about urban dystopia and uh, this is the fitting soundtrack for it. But I'm not saying it's entirely dark and gloomy, that's not the case, but it has this sort of a science fiction type of vibe to it and uh, it's quite beautiful and uh, so uh, Ocean Youth Club uh, is still OIC but uh, it's just a different little different spin on it and yeah this was released at the uh, HVNX label in Spain I didn't know that label uh, and uh, it's pretty good sounding ambient record yeah, um, basically same month, still in 2019, saw the release of an entirely new Oyukai Conjugate album called Sleepwalker. This came out on CD uh, in this beautiful, tasty diggy pack. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, the interesting thing is, in a sense, this is a live album, because prior to that, in 2019, uh, Andrew and Roger has made a quite a long tour through mostly Europe, I think, uh, ranging from North Germany to, to Portugal, a lot of gigs, and uh, this album is a bit of a snapshot of this era, of this uh, chapter in the band's history. And uh, quite a beautiful one. Um, now uh, it is a it is a live album, but uh, it certainly does not have a particular live album feeling to it. 
and uh, that's uh, actually good because I think uh, this is better for this kind of music. I imagine they could have set up their gear somewhere in a studio, in a garage or somewhere on a stage and then just perform the tracks and uh, with this kind of recording, with this way of recording, you always get this very sort of intimate, intimate uh, material. And uh, so um, acoustically, uh, it's not that much different from a studio recording. And certainly for me, that's how I prefer it. So uh, this is basically a wonderful contemporary ambient slash experimental music album. And the latest uh, original new release by Oyukai Conjugate. There are a lot of good tracks here. I was particularly uh, uh, partial to a track called Forgotten Summer. And uh, for, or the track The Madness Below. So um, this is a wonderful record to listen to. And uh, um, hopefully uh, you still have a good... Uh, original CD player that uh, doesn't uh, create gaps between tracks because this is sort of a floating experience from track to track and uh, so uh, that's just something that crossed my mind and uh, finally um, we have arrived in the year 2020 right now uh, not long ago this is hot from the press um, the 1987th album into Dark Water uh, has been re-released and um, again on Emotional Rescue as uh, the Scene in Mirage album. Actually I've never expected to uh, have this album ever uh, in this sort of original original layout and style. Again this has already been re-released once a few years ago as part of the Ambiguism box. So uh, that's how it looked there. Uh, now this edition has two extra tracks on it, um, while uh, this release is kind of more true um, to replicate uh, the way the album came out in 1987. So uh, yeah, that's uh, basically my little run through the releases of Oyukai Conjugate in the last two or two and a half years. And um, I hope you found it interesting and uh, who knows, maybe in some years I will make a fourth part of this. So uh, keep it spinning and uh, goodbye.